central will be rotated, then we'll push palatally. Rotation for the lateral. And finally, we will move this canine more distally. We will need to make more extrusion. And here we can find the outcome of the virtual setup. And we can see here that there is a lot of information that we can gather about the accurate measurements for each tooth movements. Actually, nowadays we are thinking of a new project to use this software for making aligners completely in the clinic without the use of any company. The idea is to make the setup in several steps. In each step, we move certain number of teeth with certain amount of millimeter movements. Then we will print each step model. Then we do the aligners in our clinics. It's still an idea, but hopefully in the future we can do this idea in our clinics. Now we will move to invisible clear aligners and as I told you, I will focus more with the invisible clear aligners because I can see that this is the easier way for all of you to start treating the simple and moderate orthodontic cases. And I will try to show some cases for different clinical situations where aligner can be used. First, let me tell you about one very important secret of success for using aligners which is the case selection parameters. All of us know that nowadays, a lot of companies are manufacturing aligners. Each company of them has certain limitations of moving teeth. What I mean, they have limitation for, for example, how many millimeters of crowding, spacing, intrusion, or even extrusion can be done with such aligner. On the same time, we should know exactly how many, um, how many degrees of tipping, torque, or rotation could be done with such aligners. So knowing the case selection parameters will help you to choose which company can fit this case. Space management is one of the problems that can be correct very easily with aligners. And actually, uh, a lot of cases refer to me from my colleagues asking for managing the space so they can do crowns, bridges, or implants. We'll start with this class one patient who has congenitally missing upper right lateral, spacing in the upper arch, proclined upper incisors, shift in the midline, high freeland attachment, the treatment plan, as we will see in this diagnostic setup, will be to close the space in the middle here, the median diastoma, creating more space for the congenitally missing lateral and slight retrusion of the upper and lower incisor and correction of the midline. In less than, actually about six months was enough to finish the case and as we can see here, complete closure of the spaces except at the site of the missing lateral, retraction of the upper and lower incisors, correction of the midline and even we make the phrenectomy for the high phrenal attachment. Serial pictures for the progress of the treatment and as you see at the end, we use abutment inside the retainer till the patient start doing his implant. Crossbite, one of the good indication also to use aligners if the crossbite cases. It is a very good example of correction of crossbite using aligners. Actually, the problems in this case, crossbite, midline shift, upper and lower crowding, and as we can see here, this lower canine position, this po they always say that the correction of the canine position with aligners is not so easily. But I think with the advancement in the technology of the aligners fabrication, 
We can do this job very easily nowadays. Very good correction of the lower and upper arch. Another example for cross bite. This case is still under treatment, but I need to say two very important things here. This guy is 54 years old. I started to treat his daughter. Then he told me, doctor, me too, I want to correct my teeth. Second thing, he is a man, he's not a woman. Always we think that only females are searching for the beauty. Even males, even in old age, they are still searching for the beauty. For this case, we have something makes the case very difficult for us, not the age of the patient. As long as we have good peri periodontal conditions, we can move these teeth. But with the aligners, the problem here is the small, very small size of the lower incisors. So to control these teeth with aligners is something very difficult. And you need to work with a high professional kind of companies to correct this lower incisor crowding and also look at the position of the canine, very difficult position also. And the crossbite in the upper right lateral. Now we finished using 16 aligners. I think this patient still need more uh, five to six aligners to finish his treatment. But now the lateral incisor is out of the cross bite, not completely out, but it's already done that it's out. And I think it will need some veneers or something to match the other side. And the lower arch crowding almost done. Even the canine position is more than the be beginning of the treatment. And again, the patient age 54. Relapse cases. A lot of patients came to me with a relapse and they are asking to have any solution for the pro problem other than re-put braces again. They said they had enough from braces and they, they need some other option to correct the problem. Here is another, sorry. This patient has relapsed after finishing his orthodontic treatment with conventional braces with four premolar extraction. Now he has crowding in the lower arch, spacing in the upper arch, and some protrusion. Look at the difference between his initial and final upper, upper arch, complete close of the spaces and retraction of the upper incisors, correction of the lower arch crowding. Ah, now, bimaxillary protrusion, not all the cases of bimaxillary protrusion could be done with aligners. Some of them, and here we will go back to how to select the case that you can do with aligners. This patient came to my office complaining from something very strange. I said to him, what's your complaint? Why you are coming to my clinic? He said to me, I need to smile. I said, what? He said, I need to smile. Whenever I smile, people are laughing. And I have very tough time to let him smile to take this picture. Look, he is not smiling. Actually, he, his face is not happy while he is smiling. And look at the protrusion of the upper and lower incisors. This cephalometric changes comparison between the initial and this is a progress. This is not the final of the treatment, but you can see how much improvement in the upper and lower incisors proclination could achieve very big progress. And he is now, after using 17 aligners, still we have, I think, eight aligners for him. But look, he can smile now. Although he has a bad hair style, but, but still he can smile. Ladies and gentlemen, very much I would like also to, to thank Dr. Abasada for being our final speaker of the whole conference. I'll give him his uh, certificate of appreciation. Thank you. Thank you.